So for wrestling fans of a certain age and a certain era, he was our babysitter in a way because we saw him more on TV when our parents were away than where our parents were there. Part of the big Vashon brother uh, wrestling, uh, what he called legacy with uh, Mad Dog, but uh, the butcher, Butcher Vashon, unfortunately has passed away at age 86. Now, uh, born in Montreal, uh, again, member of the Vashon wrestling family. Again, best known for his ring name, the butcher Vashon. Now, he grew up as one of the 13 children of Ferdinand Vasho, a Montreal police officer. In 57, he's followed his brother Maurice into pro uh, business, adopting his brother the Mad Dog's vicious heel style and the moniker Butcher Vasho. He wrestled in the AWA, the World Wrestling Federation, now WWE, <clears throat> the NWA in Georgia, Championship Wrestling, <coughs> which would later become WCW. He often teamed with his brother Mad Dog, with whom he won the AWA World Tag Team title. Again, in the early 1970s, appeared alongside his sister Vivian Vachon in a motion picture Wrestling Queen. Now, he wrestled under a mass of spoiler number two for Jim Crockett Promotions Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling in 75. His angle inclu- involved getting revenge on Wahoo McDaniel, Paul Jones, and Rufus R. Jones for running Super Destroyer Don Jardine out of the territory. In fact, Jardine left JCP on short notice and Booker George Scott wanted a mass heel on the roster. Vachon stayed in JCP for a few months and before leaving, lost a series of matches against Paul Jones and Rufus Jones, in which a mass was at stake, as was Paul Jones' U.S. title in their matches. When he retired in 85, uh, he eventually proved his talents extended beyond the wrestling ring, and uh, one of his final appearances was singing Edith Piaf's Le Vie en Rose on Tuesday Night Titans, and he did quite a, a good job. Debuted in 1957, retired in 85, 6'2", 280 pounds, also known as Nikita Zolt, Zolt, Zolotov, uh, another heel. Now, the adopted father of wrestler Luna Vachon, he is the mother of wrestlers Maurice and Vivian Vachon, and a former uh, father-in-law of wrestler David Gangrel Heath and Tom Nash. In total, Vachon has six children, has been married four times. After his wrestling career, Paul Vachon joined the NDP and ran as a federal candidate in 88, 93, and 95. Now, in 93, he was uh, diagnosed with colon cancer and had half his colon removed. Then in 2002, he was diagnosed with throat cancer. Vachon underwent 40 treatments, one each weekday for five straight weeks to overcome the throat cancer. In addition, he had the disease burned out of his tonsils, burned, the disease burned out uh, his tonsils and his teeth were removed. As a result of the radiation treatments, he, under, uh, he underwent reconstructive jaw surgery in early June 2009 and Vasho also suffered from diabetes. Now, Vasho and his wife, Rebecca, traveled to flea markets and fairs to sell numerous items, including therapeutic magnets. The business began in 95. He also self-published her autobiography title when wrestling was real. Uh, according to uh, Mad Dog's Mentions and Screwjobs, has a whole chapter on Mr. Vasho. He, uh, he was a, a tremendous star from throughout Canada, mostly in Acadie and Quebec, because when he arrived in town with his brother, boys did... Did, did, did get over with the fans. Now, titles and championships, a whole bunch of awards. He won the 50th state big-time wrestling Hawaii tag team title once with Hardboiled Haggerty. In the AWA, he won the Midwest tag team title with uh, Boris, Mad Dog, and the world tag team title once with his brother. Cauliflower Alley Club, Men's Wrestling Award 2008, Eastern Township Wrestling Association, ETWA heavyweight title, the George Trago's Lothez Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame, Class of 2010, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling, NWA Southern Tag Team Championship, Mid-Atlantic Virtual once with Mr. Vachon, NWA uh, Georgia Tag Team Title winner one time with Stan Vachon, NWA Southern Tag Team Title, Georgia Version, five, five times with the great Louis Tillier and Stan Vachon, NWA World Tag Team Championship, Georgia Version, one time with Morris, NWA Hollywood, America's tag team title winner with Chavo Guerrero Sr. Uh, at one time. Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame Museum, class of 2004, Maurice Vachon. NWA Texas tag team title winner with uh, Modest Vachon uh, and Ivan the Terrible in Southern Southwest Sports. And Stampede Wrestling, three-time Canadian NWA tag team title uh, uh, winner, Calgary version with Modest. And NWA international tag team title winner, Calgary version three times again with Maurice. 
Nebraska Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2023. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to see Maurice and 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 uh, and uh, Paul go at it, uh, the Ladukes were 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 tough. Uh, uh, you know, Killer Kowalski, whoever he's tag team with, the Vashons were immensely popular. Didn't even have to hold a belt because once they arrived. Because as my dad said, he entered entered angry and left angry into the into the ring. So uh, actually, this is very uh, not too often doing this. Not too often you see us talk about a professional wrestler who was a, uh, a political candidate. Now in 1995, in, a, in the uh, the riding of Brom Bisikwai, he lost to Denny Paradis, the Liberal uh, uh, victor, fifth place, and he got 371 votes. Uh, Based on only ninety three hundred twenty five dollars uh, spent, so a very uh, uh, a very interesting <laughs> total. In that writing, uh, you would not believe there was nine different uh, parties and non affiliated running, and he was lucky again. Uh, they got uh, the Black Quebecois, the PCs, the Reform, Christian Heritage, non affiliated, the Green Natural Law. You know the people jumping up and down on uh, on benches, and the PC spent thirty six thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, and he only got four times the votes as uh, as uh, Paul had, so uh, pretty uh, pretty bizarre. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Butcher and uh, Mo- Butcher Vasho and Mad Dog will be greatly greatly missed. And every time I see a bald head, ladies and gentlemen, on an older man, and I'm partially bald on top, I think of the Vasho brothers. What a time with Mad Dog and uh, Butcher, uh, because. <laughs> You're entering a ring, let's say, as a jobber, and you're looking across the way, two angry Quebecers from Montreal, and in the words of Bonus, I wanted to take a walk. Uh, you know, uh, Bonus was the was the flamboyant one, but uh, you know, uh, Paul Paul was just as uh, just as nasty. I remember a match where they were both chewing on somebody's head at the same time. I kid you not, and I didn't see them draw blood, but I know one thing: if you got two bad Quebecers. Name is Vasho, chewing on your head. You're saying, I'm only getting $20 for this? I'm getting underpaid. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're really, uh, really going to miss him because he was also a great supporter of all types of wrestling, intergender matches. And uh, I know Lefisto and uh, Kevin Steen and Sami Zayn and uh, Jericho and uh, Benoit, God bless his soul, uh, they owe a lot to him because he was a trailblazer for what we call the Quebecois, uh, Acadian, uh, Francophone style. Emile Dupre, Ready Dupre, the Ladukes, you know, uh, going back even to Yvonne Robert and all that, uh, you know, uh, although he's off in Quebec, Edouard Capratier and, you know, all the all the great Quebec wrestlers, he will be missed. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're if you're only getting news today, uh, you know, and you watch Paul Paul Vacho, Boris and Butcher, uh, uh, when you were a kid, it's and you know something in Canada, we have a cake named named after them, but not. Vasho cakes. Every time we imagine this, and this is no joke, people would go to the wrestling and you would have Vasho cakes on sale, even though they weren't getting any money. That's how hip we were to wrestling. How many people say, "Whoa, well, I, I, I go to an LA night uh, match and they're selling night snack cakes"? For fuck's sake, the Vasho snack cakes and the wrestlers. So you eat the snack cake, watching the wrestlers with a bottle of Pepsi. What's better for a young kid in the nineteen sixties, seventies, and eighties? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here with our tribute podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share.